Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for tuning in for another Black Series action figure review. Now big thanks goes out to Andy at Goodies Toys for yet another amazing figure. Not so glad that he was able to hook me up with this one a little bit earlier than we've been getting them here in Australia. So I'm pretty, pretty damn excited to take a good look at Aura Sing from the Clone Wars. Number eight. Uh, says on the back there, uh, feared bounty hunter, known for her chalk white skin and built-in comlink antenna, Aura Singh was an expert sniper and trained assassin who would work for anyone who paid her. So yeah, she got her first debut as a, you know, I guess a behind-the-scenes character in uh, Phantom Menace. She was sitting there surveying the uh, pod race from a distance, and yeah, that just sort of grew her character from there. And uh, yeah, this figure looks like a grey one. I've been really looking forward to this one. So uh, without further ado, let's crack it open and have a look. Alright guys, here is Aura Singh out of the packaging. This figure is looking fantastic. But uh, just before I get started, I thought I'd share a couple of older Aura Singh figures that we've gotten in the past. So we'll look at the animated Aura Singh from 2010. This one is still a fantastic version of Aura Singh do love this figure a lot. She did have a bit of a funny antenna when she came out. Um, but I remember sort of shaving that down and painting it silver just to sort of get a little bit more. I saw people replace them with pins um, and stuff like that just because the scale was a little bit off. Um, but yeah, still a great, great figure. And then in 2012, the Discover the Force line saw the debut of Aura Singh, who very shortly after got a release in the vintage collection as well. And uh, this one was pretty good as well. I think the only downfall was the uh, non-articulated ankles. Um, but yeah, had some really cool accessories, came with a sort of briefcase full of lightsabers. And uh, yeah, just another really, really cool figure. So you're definitely worth tracking that one down if you haven't got that one. Either of those really. But yeah, we're here to talk about the Black Series 6 inch Aura Singh. She's looking absolutely fantastic. That sort of trademark orange, orange bodysuit, brown vest, brown boots, brown holsters. And the chains over here, they look fantastic. They're really well done. Looks, looks fantastic. Love it. So accessory she comes with is her Probably one of the longest weapons we've seen in uh, Black Series so far. This would rival our Crosshair's rifle as well. Uh, sadly with this one, it's sort of got that sort of plasticky look to it. Um, I'm not sure how well you've sort of seen that. A little bit of brown, thankfully that sort of saves it a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's just sort of a shiny grey plastic. It would have been nice if that was silver. Um, you know, just a little bit of paint there would have would have helped that a lot. But otherwise, it looks fine. I'm probably not going to worry about painting it. It's <laughs> just too much, too much effort. I might even just keep it slung across her back. But yeah, it also comes with this sort of strap, which means you can have it on her back. Uh, so yeah, it looks like it just... So the loops on there, it's just sort of a nice soft plastic so you can't damage it or anything. And that will just clip on probably anywhere down here would be fine. So then you can uh, have, it, have it sort of slung over her shoulder like so. And yeah, it's going to take a little bit of playing around with. But she also comes with her small blasters. Each with double finger holes the triggers and that's because she has these gigantically long fingers <laughs> which is cool so yeah once those are in hand you should be able to get both fingers sort of at least next to the places where they're meant to be so yeah that works well but we'll try this one in the holster so it's a nice snug fit there that looks good
but yeah, I like the I like the removable strap because that means you can sort of get it out of the way, but also you could uh, just sort of leave it attached. Like so. But yeah, it looks a little bit funny with it with it on. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, one thing I am going to touch up is the antenna on her head. So we get a close up look at that. So to see that's just sort of the same grey plastic, which again, not a big deal. It doesn't look sort of oversized like it did on some of the three and three quarter versions. Um, but yeah, that will get a nice little. I'll just touch it up with a sharpie, I think, just to give it the same sort of silver accents that you know she got on the chains up here on her little code cylinders. There's a little um, little thing in her pouch there. Yeah, belt buckles. You know, all the little silver accents that they've bothered to go to with the rest of the figure, just not there. So that's all right. That's an easy fix. I'm not too too fussed about that. So articulation's pretty good. I feel like they may have reused the body from somewhere. New arms but I'm not picking it. I'd say they reuse the legs because they've got the double pins. Um, but again, just sort of having a hard time thinking about which figure that could have been. Not that it really matters because it's uh, it's worked well. I, I'm not objecting to reusing parts, especially when you can get a, get a figure like this out. So yeah, it's a fantastic one. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on Aura Singh. I think she's an absolutely brilliant figure. I actually like the detailing of her ponytail with the sort of beads. Yeah, that looks great. Little gadgets and stuff in the back of her vest there look cool. But yeah, even the... Even those sort of photo real paint apps look really, really good. Really nicely done. Well sculpted, well painted. Another nice addition to the line. Absolutely. So thank you all very much for tuning in. I do appreciate your time. Again, please keep an eye on goodiestoys.com.au. When he has these available, I have links to a bunch of Australian stores down in the uh, in the description. So if you are indeed an Australian resident, please support these shops down below. Help support local businesses. And that will be uh, much appreciated for those guys, I'm sure. The folks that run those stores. So yeah, keep an eye on Goodies Toys. He hooked me up with this one and he is expecting more in the coming weeks. So definitely stay tuned to his website. And uh, his social media stuff, and I'm sure he'll put some posts out when they're available. But yeah, until my next video, if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you. Always.